Ollie Santum here, um, just at one of my rider training days, one to one with Lara Logan on a 250 two strokes. Nice to see a two stroke here. Um, don't get many of those these days on the uh, TRX 250R Honda. Um, PEP suspension, which I like to see. Um, we've, we've, what we've basically done is we've got us come out today, first of all, and let her learn the track. Um, so that when she, we made the changes in the workshop, I'm just waiting for her to come through the whoops now. So she's just coming through the whoops now and then over the scrub where we stood on top of. So basically how I work it is, we've got a workshop on site here where I prep the bikes and we work on people's machines. Um, we do engine work, welding, suspension, we, pe we service PEP suspension and work on bike setup. We also work with a lot of the road quads and the super quads and motocross bikes. But my speciality is um, the quad racing, as you understand. Um, and my, my common in my interest is involved in the uh, in the in the sport as motocross, as the discipline mainly, as in quad racing. So um, yeah. So basically, we got Logan, uh, we got Lara here at the start of the day. And the plan was for her to go out, spin a few laps as the bike was set up before, and then she got used to the way the bike fe felt going round my track. And then we went back to the workshop, give her a bit of a break, it's quite physical. Um, then I set up and worked on a few key factors. First of all, um, they don't often check the tyre pressures, so we've got on that. Um, ride height, starting with the ride height on the machine. The ride height was well out. We're at eight and a half inches on the back and six and three quarter of inches on the front. So the bike was set up incorrectly. I've set the bike up properly uh, for the ride height. So now the suspension's set correctly with the ride height, how I would personally set it. Tire pressures, ride height. Then we went to the camber, the camber was out. So we've set the camber and then we've set the, uh, the tracking. So now the bike was balanced and everything's tracked up, set up right, ride height, suspension set up right. We softened the shocks up a little bit because it was very very uh, stiff for her weight. Set the rebound as and where we can on the rear shock because the fronts didn't have adjustability. And uh, now the bike seems to be sit a lot better. Um, wait to see what Lara has to say after, but it seems to look a lot more comfortable. So before we did any rider training, I got her on the, we want to get the bike set up right so that she's comfortable on the bike. The handlebars were, weren't where she wanted them. So I've set the handlebars and thus the levers also where she feels comfortable. So in a nutshell, without me baffling on, it's, uh, it's mainly all about getting the bike comfortable. So if the bike's comfortable, the rider's comfortable and then we can work on the training. As for where I'm doing something different, I believe is getting the bike set up properly. Um, so that the ride is comfortable. You're not gonna be able to change someone's riding in one day, but what I can change is to my ability and my knowledge is to get the bike set up so that she or he is comfortable on their machine and then we can work from there. Um, but I believe a lot of it is the bike set up and, and they're comfortable on their own machine. Then they'll go well. If you're having something that's beating you up, then you know you could get Mrs. Smith driving a car down the road. If she's got a puncture or the, the, the car's crabbing, she ain't gonna feel very comfortable in a car. So you've got to get her comfortable on the bike first before she can go out and expect to even race this machine. So um, she seems to look a lot more comfortable now and the confidence will bring, build a bit of confidence and then work on um, a few riding techniques. What I like about Lara is she stood up a lot of the time um, and some riders, it takes years to get through that. Even now I'm very lazy where I stay sat down and I don't practice what I preach, but she, she seems to be standing up well and we're just going to go into a few um, corners and um, a couple of the jumps that she feels comfortable on. So yeah, um, looking forward to seeing her improve.